Good morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. Would you like to know how to properly manage your to-do list? I'm sure the answer is yes for a lot of you. Sometimes we have a to-do list that seems to go on forever and ever. So I'm just going to give you some quick key pointers to make it a lot easier. Number one, do the brain dump on paper. Get everything you need to do on paper. Jim Rohn, one of the great speakers of our time, said your brain is not a filing cabinet. If you're trying to keep everything up here, you're not succeeding. You're, le you're not leaving any room for new ideas to come in, and it just not doesn't work that way. You're clogging your brain, and it creates overwhelm. So take your to-do list from here and put it on paper. The next thing you do is when you have all the different things you need to do, circle the two most important that need to be done first. That's it. Circle the top two. And then immediately go to the win formula. And the win formula is what's important now. Ask yourself are those top two, what's most important? Put an asterisk next to that one, and that's the immediate one you take action on. And then when you complete that task, again, you can circle the top two. Might be the, the one that was number two before. It might be something different and do the same process. Another thing I do with my to-do list, don't just take a line and write, go through it or take a check. That's uninspiring. Grab a green Sharpie and write through that to-do, write victory. Because when you accomplish something, it's a victory. And writing victory with a green marker versus just putting a black pen line through it is a lot more inspiring. You feel like you've accomplished something and it gives you more momentum to move forward and take on the next task. Another tool is use a parking lot. Things that aren't important that need to happen now, you can create a parking lot. It might be important a week from now, a month from now, next quarter, who knows? But so you're afraid you might forget it, just create a parking lot for all those things that don't need to happen now that can happen later, and you could tend to them later. And most importantly, don't forget the four Ds. If it makes sense, when you circle that top one of what's most important, do it. Get it done. Also understand, delegate it. This is something maybe you don't have to do it. A lot of us think we have to do it. No, it just needs to get done. So find the person that you can delegate it to to get it done. You, like I said with the parking lot, you might de defer it to a later date. Or as you're going through your list, you just might dump it and realize it's just not important at all. So this doesn't even need to be on the list. So those are some helpful tips to take your to-do list and, and master it to get much more efficient. And I'll also say this, and I'll ask, start that with a question. Could you possibly work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and still have things on your to-do list? Most likely the answer is yes. If the answer is yes, that means you have to get really, really intentional on what's most important now that's going to make the biggest impact. Think that way and you will be able to put all these points in place and get efficient with your to-do list and start accomplishing these goals and making them victories to create the momentum to strive forward and achieve success. Hope this has been valuable. As always, I want to thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I want to wish you a productive, profitable week, and I'll see you next Monday. Be well.